Oh my god. I'm like ascending right now. Mm. It looks like fake food! Do you think if we had penises, this is how we'd it. act? <laughs> yeah, probably. Just fling it around the outfits. Today, we are going to be trying Filipino snacks. So excited! We're pumped, we're nervous. Let's do this. Let's go. Mabuhai, my name is Rizal. I am Filipino-Australian, and I'm just going to share some Filipino snacks with my friends here. At BuzzFeed. Some of it has been inspired from like our Spanish colonization and a lot of it's from our indigenous culture. You'll see that a lot of them have rice in it in various forms. Having sticky rice means like good luck. Stickiness is to stick the good luck to you. So a lot of this stuff like what we call in Tagalog is malakit is sticky rice that we eat a lot during festive seasons like New Year's so that the good luck sticks to us for all year round. So hopefully there's a lot of good luck with everyone trying these snacks today. So the first snack we're trying is called chicharron. It is a deep fried pork rind or pork skin. The perfect snack to have with a beer by itself. You dip it in vinegar or you crush it up and you put it on top of your noodles. It goes with anything. For our vegetarian slash vegan friends, we've got the vegetarian version of chicharron, which is made out of dehydrated peas. Vegetarians, you're not gonna miss out on chicharron. Hope you enjoy it. Always wanted to eat this, but I never have been able to because it's pork. <laughs> So you get the vegan version. I can't believe it. To be honest, I'm not Pork's number one fan. I think it's overrated. Holy shit. <laughs> that's not, that's not fair. That's not easy. That's going to make some people feel real bad about themselves. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cheers. Cheers, my love. Oh, the crunch. That's pretty good. This is delicious. Try this. Mm. I'm trying to seduce you. Summer air, couple of bevies. Put these on the table. I would demolish it. Veggie version. Now veggie version. Let's go. Mm. But this is so fucking that. so good. So I'm sure that's also good. It's just the idea of eating like puffy skin. Mm. I love these. That's really nice. It doesn't taste like the original one, but I it's like both equally. Bloody good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Holy shit. Vegans win this round. Yum. So the next snack is called choc nut. It's like a small little chocolatey peanut treat. If you're not into chocolate, you might like it because it's more peanut than chocolatey. Zed, I'm looking at you. Peanut milk chocolate. This reminds me of like some grand chocolate bar, like a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory golden ticket situation. Mm. Oh, it's crumbly. It's kind of like a flake almost. If you're new here, I don't like chocolate. But maybe I like Filipino chocolate. Oh, mm. that's so peanutty. Mm. I'm so sorry. The texture's fucking weird. I love it. Why is it like fudge? This tastes like halwa, which is like a Middle Eastern dessert. Mm. This is fucking amazing. I'm gonna eat the whole packet. It's a bit intense for me. Like it's nice, it's just that I can't cut that texture. It's a really weird texture. Yeah, look at that. It's like sand. It's so delicious though. Maybe I like Filipino chocolate. Because it's you're eating it. I'm very surprised. Because it doesn't surprised. taste like it. <laughs> but you're still eating it. Because usually mm. you'd be like throwing mm. up at this mm. point. So the next snack, boy bawang, which means boy garlic or garlic boy, which is the quintessential flavor of Filipino cuisine. It is a deep fried corn kernel that has been doused in garlic flavor. Like if you love garlic, oh my gosh, your world will be changed. Garlic flavor! Puffy corn. I love puffy things. <laughs> <laughs> the minute you open that, all you can smell is garlic. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna Yum. make us smell awesome. Oh my god. Yum! Oh my god. This is like the kind of thing you could like mm. just eat like a mouthful of. Oh, I like them. <laughs> Once again, would go really well with like a beer. This shit is right up my alley. Stop eating it. There's so many snacks. Why do you keep doing it? Thumbs up. Again, thumbs Why? Up. I'll give you a thumbs up. Shout out to Philip Brady Merrickville for hooking us up with these snacks. Fucking amazing. Um, yum. Yum. We'll be coming to visit, and so should you. So Chippy is a Filipino brand of chips in the Philippines. This is a corn chip. It is a favorite of a lot of Filipinos. Chippy! Chippy! A barbecue flavored corn chip. And they're called Chippy. Chippy! I love Chippy! It's like a freaking spiral. That's cool as shit, right? Oh yeah, all right. Let's taste these. Cheers. I feel like they'd go really well with like an avocado dip. I don't like it. I like the texture. I can't taste anything. No. The flavoring needs to be about like 40 times the amount. That's actually really nice. 
What? I just feel like it needs like a dip. It tastes like they forgot Too to add crinkling. the flavoring. Stop crinkling. <laughs> this is why we're not paired in the videos. <laughs> like when you show me that, I'm expecting like pal barbecue. It doesn't look like the picture. <laughs> And I don't know Me why. Neither do I in my dating profile. Mm. Exactly. Catfishing. Not bad. I would still eat. <laughs> Turon. Oh my god. I love Turon. It is like my number one favorite Pinoy snack. Turon is basically a banana spring roll. But in the Philippines, it's like saba banana with jackfruit in it, wrapped in spring roll, deep fried, and then caramelized with brown sugar. Mmm. So crunchy, so good, so indulgent, really good with ice cream. Basically, if this doesn't taste like pure happiness, I will be so confused. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh my God. It's very sweet. It kind of tastes like potato. It does. I like the sweet, kind of crunchy exterior. Like it's been caramelized almost. Yeah, you yeah. have my sugar on it, yeah. I need another bite for science reasons, obviously. For science. It's kind of savory. Which is really good. Yeah. Yum. We love that. The banana has a little bit of a flavor, but it's more like a texture. Mm hmm That's really yummy. Mm. Too sweet for me. I quite like that. I think these are really cool though, because it's something that I haven't tried before. Mm. Like, I would never think to put jackfruit in a spring roll. I like these, they're solid. Mm. They're solid. They are good. Yeah, they not are my good. favorite, but solid. Yeah. So, bibinka is a rice flour cake. So it's like the cake on top of a banana leaf, put in a terracotta pot and cooked over coals. And that's how it's traditionally made. And then once it's cooked, you top it with cheese, desiccated coconut and a salted egg. It's a very special treat that we have during Christmas, but you can eat it all year round. Shout out to Tita's Cakes for giving us all this stuff. Legends. <gasps> Yeehaw. Wait, <laughs> is that egg? I thought that was coconut and mango. Can you not see the egg? Guys, the egg is very <laughs> obvious. Yeah, I know, but I think it was like... Oh. It's salted egg. Salted egg. Oh, no. Look how cute the flag is. Look at that colour. Oh. Looking at how, like, spongy that is. That is yes. insane. Yes, that's super soft. I am a little bit sceptical about the egg, though. Me that, too. That I, I'm me not nervous. a huge fan of coconut like this. Wow! This is really good. Holy fuck. A lot of flavours. There's a lot going on here. Mm -hmm. God, the Philippines know what's up, hey. Right. Did you bite the egg? Yeah. Did you actually? Because you can't taste it. Like, it's I not did, gross. I ate it. It's not really eggy. I ate half of it. The cake itself is incredible. That is so, so moist. Light. So yeah. good. Dense, but spongy. Like a bunt, maybe. Yeah, like a bunt. A bunt. I like the cake and the coconut. I'll pass on the egg. That's really good. I love Especially that. the egg, that was my favorite bit. You're a pussy. <laughs> I am. So, suman or bud bud is a glutinous rice cake that's been wrapped in banana leaves and then steamed. And it comes out kind of like in stick form, so you can like peel it like a banana. You can have it with like caramel sauce. Highly recommend. Love Came through people. dripping? That is the best <laughs> thing I've ever seen on sauce in my life. Once again, presentation beautiful. Yum! This is so fun. It reminds me of like um, the crackers you get at Christmas. And you pull it. Oh my god, this is like a cheese stringer, but <gasps> like rice. Not. This is very hypnotic. It <laughs> jiggle, jiggle. It's familiar. I like it. It's familiar. It's familiar. <laughs> How's the sauce? Caramelly. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think if we had penises, this is how we would act? <laughs> yeah, probably. Just fling it around the office. <laughs> this is so good. Hmm. Okay, I see why you would dip it. Because that would taste like just rice. Well, that's a big bite. Yeah, I was excited. Because it's solid. Mmm. Caramel sauce and rice. Mm. Who would have thunk it? This is yummy! Yummy! Puto bong bong. I know it sounds really fun to say, puto bong bong is a purple rice steamed in bamboo shoots. And then serve it on banana leaves and you put like brown sugar with coconut and lots of butter. And you just like slather all of that on top of it. It is so delicious all together. This is a pile of brown sugar and that. butter. It's glistening. Mm. Oh, it's stretchy AF. Yeah. Oh, it keeps going, it keeps going. 
think I'm gonna use my hands. I'm an yeah. Indian. I'm very comfortable with my hands here. I'm experiencing like an entirely new flavor in my mouth I right know. Now. I really like this. And then at really... the end, there's the coconut as well. I think I left like chewing the glutinous rice mm -hmm. with the coconut. Mm -hmm. It tastes so good. Did you get the sugar? Mm -hmm. You didn't get the butter. I got the butter. Did you get the coconut? I got the coconut. Okay, she got everything. <laughs> that hit with the sugar real quick. I really like the chewiness of the, the rice. The chewiness is freaking me out. I'm scared I'm gonna choke. I like it. It reminds me of um, like bubble tea when you have the pearls, like the chewiness. Never of had that. bubble tea. Yeah, that's a TikTok. I know. Don't. What? Don't. What? Don't. <laughs> Don't. Can I get a new partner? Is it, is it too late? <laughs> wow. Yum! It's so good. Also, if I saw this on a menu, I honestly probably wouldn't order it. Mm -mm. Because I'd be just, afraid. Yes. <laughs> I just feel like there's a lot of love that goes into this. And so I really appreciate it for those reasons. It's just heavy. So sapin sapin is another glutinous rice cake. Sapin sapin means sheets or layers. And you'll see that it's different colors. So you've got the bottom layer, which is white, vanilla, the yellow for jackfruit and the top layer, which is ube. Then you top that off with latik, which is basically a reduced coconut milk that's turned into these chewy flakes. All that together, you've got different textures and different flavors. It is a treat. Look at this! That's gorgeous. <gasps> I'm so into it. I love coconut. Oh, I feel like I've made this myself. I could just smell this all day. Okay, well, we're not here to smell, we're here to eat, so let's eat it. Mm. Oh my god, this is fucking amazing. Flavor wise, like it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's also, once again, very filling. Yeah. Like, I'd probably have one half of these. Maybe half call, of it. Call it a day. day. It doesn't really have that much flavor. Mm. Which I like. Like, I don't want it to be too intense. No. You can taste the jackfruit. Mm. It's very yum. And it's very pretty. Like cedar. Exactly. I think that's the first nice thing you've ever said to me. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so Ginata Ang Bilo Bilo means sticky rice balls in coconut milk. It's got a number of ingredients like jackfruit, saba, which is banana, the glutinous rice balls themselves, tapioca pearls, sweet potato or ube in a smooth, silky coconut milk. It is great cold, it is great hot, but for me it is the ultimate comfort food pure, warm, creamy comfort. Oh. Whoa! I've yes. never seen anything like this. Wow! Oh my this, God. Is, this looks like fake food. This looks like... It does! It looks like fake food! <laughs> Ooh! It just tastes like sweet coconut milk. Mm. I think we just learned you're not a fan of rice with this texture. I love the texture mm. of the rice ball. It's like mochi. It's fucking delicious. The coconut milk is super creamy, mm. super light, not overly sweet. It goes so well with the fruit. Yeah, the coconut milk is good. It makes me feel like, like I'm on holiday. Yeah. Too root vegetable-y for me. The rice ball was fucking delightful though. Like so soft and... Oh, it's crunchy. Mm. But not in like a sweet potato way. Maybe like a grape. Very little flavour though. This? Out of all the desserts so far, my least favourite. Same. This also reminds me of an Indian dessert we have called Kheer, which is rice pudding. Kind of similar flavour profiles, but the coconut in this just really shines. So, Sansarival, which means unrivaled, is inspired by French cooking. It's basically layers of meringue with butter and uh, some sort of nut, usually cashew nuts or pistachio nuts. Is this just balls of butter? Close. It's actually what? supposed to be a cake, but they've made it into bites. One bite? How big do you think my jaw, my mouth bite. is? The nuts on that. That looks awesome. <gasps> this looks right up your alley. Yeah, that's yeah. my vibe. Oh, you're supposed to ask that. Can taste the cashew. This is cool. Not as sweet as I was expecting. It's a good mix of like savory sweet. I'm glad it's not as a, mm -hmm. like it's not as sweet because that would have kind of taken away from that meringue. It feels illegal to eat because it tastes like. I know butter. because it tastes like pure butter. Police, come and get me because I've done something naughty. Buttercream. So good. So smooth. This is better than the freezer. How are you so smooth? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm like ascending right now. Wow. That's really something that is. That is something. Is it unrivaled? I mean, look. It feels unrivaled. <laughs> Sans Rival, you win. We ate all the snacks. Loved Delicious. it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved that. What a birthday treat for What you. a birthday treat. Merry Christmas, Cedar. Merry Christmas, happy birthday to you. Thank you. Because mm. you're Jesus.